Okay, I removed all four carriage bolts, and I've got a little container that I use to just throw all the little miscellaneous hardware in so I don't lose it. So now, this top casting should just pop right off. Just lift it straight up, there it goes. And so now, what we can do is take off the frame that holds the glass in, three pieces of real glass, and also take off the two screws that hold in the award card frame and the award card. And now is a good time to take off the denomination button. And then it also may so be indirectly connected with this coin director. You may have to remove one or two screws to, to get this off. And then the gold award hardware is this guy right here, and it's held on by looks like six screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, four, five, six. So let's go ahead and remove all that stuff. Okay, got the jackpot off, along with the gold war glass, and there should be a frame in here which is used to hold the glass in place. Go ahead and take that off and set it aside. And now one thing, one other thing that needs to be removed from the bottom cast on, remove those screws. Okay, we've got all the hardware off of the cabinet, except for the jackpot coin cup, which is held on by a couple of screws from the bottom. So you can remove those now. And also I have left the uh, the bracket which holds a head up, I went ahead and left that attached for now. And I'll tell you why in a few minutes. Yeah. So if I can't accept the article wood, it off. in this case it's to use some parts, no dip strip. And when you use this stuff, obviously follow all the precautions that are on the can. Wear uh, protective goggles, uh, gloves, long sleeves, because if this gets on your skin, it's, uh, it's pretty nasty stuff. And so all you do, you just slop it on, let it sit for 15 minutes or so, and then take a putty knife and scoop it off with the grain. And once you're done with that, got all the stuff off, then you can take some steel wool and get the rest of it off. Do not take water to this because you don't want to take water to the wood because it will raise the grain. So uh, I was looking for you guys what we'll do now. One other thing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some fine sandpaper and go over it to just try and finish or even it out where and after the paint dries we should be able to take a uh, paper towel or a lint free cloth and remove the, uh, the Vaseline from the, the polished areas and um, may require some touch up with a, with a paintbrush around it but in general that should work pretty good. This here is plastic that I got over to the major area here and then masking two tape. Two areas that need to be touched up an knife and trimmed it right by up. hand. But the majority of the, uh, of the castings uh, have been painted. It turned out pretty decent. And then all this stuff in here, this will all be done by hand. And the stars have to be...